So 2020 has really been an interesting year. Um, interesting in a, in a lot of negative ways. Um, I keep, and I'm sure a lot of people keep focusing on what they're not able to do, who they're not able to see, um, having to basically cancel a lot of their normal lives as they know it. Um, and you know, I'm not, I'm in that same boat as everybody else. Um, and what I've realized is that, you know, there's so many things that we need to appreciate that we don't right now. And one thing that I felt, you know, grateful for, for a lot of years, but especially this year, um, are the weekend trips to New Jersey. I'm starting to get another trip to New Jersey, summer beach trip with doing? traffic on 81. You need to drive. I am driving. So multitasking. going down there for the past 10 years straight now whether it's been for two days whether it's been for a week whether it's been for a long weekend no matter what I've always made it to um, South Jersey and Brigantine Beach um, just because how much I love the beach but even more because um, my family gets together every year at the beach and we always rent a beach house or two um, and a lot of times, it's the only time I get to see these people, um, just this one time of the year. Technically, I would be at the beach right at this very moment if the coronavirus wasn't happening. The funny thing is, last year when I went on the trip um, with my daughter Avery, I ended up documenting it a little bit. And I basically just recorded a bunch of random footage, as I normally do when I'm just traveling somewhere with the intent of making some kind of video out of it. Come a year later, and with me missing the beach, I thought maybe it would be a good idea to kind of relive those moments now, explain to you why um, this trip has been so important to me and my daughter and our family for many years now. Brigantine is has been uh, special for my whole life, uh, basically because that's where my uh, my grandparents lived at, and that's where my uh, my dad grew up at. Um, so I've been going to Brigantine Beach ever since I was born, basically. There was people in my family that expressed the need to continue um, these reunions every single summer. And it's just really been a unique opportunity for me to um, connect with family members that I haven't seen for a long time and I don't get the opportunity to see very often. This salad? Yeah. Is this, I don't like this. Salt, is this is, yeah, this is kosher salt, and there's pepper if you want more. Okay. Thank you. This looks so yummy. I don't know if it's salad. Sue, do I see like multiple layers going on there? Yeah. <laughs> I just like I like that a lot. So, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> like, really it gets all the attention. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> what happened in school today? Nothing. And then he said, oh, wait a minute, Mrs. Amorosia farted. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you have to remember, thing he remembers from the day. You have to remember the important <laughs> stuff. Yeah, that's right. This is cute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm trying, yeah, to, I'm trying to get to 14. <laughs> and I don't think I have 14 cut out. Oh, what do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Well, it was in the fridge. She's very smart. Very smart. <laughs> This. Okay. There's a famous like gazpacho scene in that movie. They fill it with a uh, uh, sleeping pill and someone drinks it. She definitely uh, did not. Do so it. I like <laughs> someone made a YouTube video from that film with the recipe as it, the, the it's described in a scene, a dramatic moment in the film. So Women on the it. verge. And you wrote no, it down. <laughs> yeah, this well, is it. Uh, yeah, we're yeah. in trouble. Would you, did, did, you, you did you magic mushroom instead of set of us? <laughs> we'll find <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, all right. So while I enjoy the beach, while I enjoy swimming, while I enjoy eating good food, um, the main focus and the main joy in all of this at all is family. And those moments we get to spend together. Um, and I think this year more than ever has made a lot of us realize how important those connections are. Um, as we're separated from the people that we care about and we love, uh, we, we, we reminisce to these times where, you know, for a brief, just a brief moment, things just kind of mold together so easily. But at the end of the day, what really matters in life is, is the people that are in your life, your family and your friends. And I think this year, you know, I'm hoping that maybe we'll just realize how important that is and just take it a little less for granted and just cherish those moments a little bit more. And that's what I will always take away from these trips to Brigantine.